Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. In this video we're going to talk about my favorite ways to earn caps here in the game. Now even if you've been playing this game for an extremely short period of time, if you're a newbie to the game, we all know that caps makes the wasteland go around. <laughs> right from fast traveling, to buying chems, to buying junk, to buying items that you might want for your camp, from other players vendor to buying ammo etc 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 so i've been asked the question a couple days ago if i can make a video on my favorite ways to earn caps i have a lot of older videos showing something similar but uh the audio is a little rough they're still valid here today but we'll still go over some ways that i like to earn caps here in the game because of, as most of you know been playing this game for quite a while and a lot of the times <laughs> I'm maxed out on caps to a point where I don't even know what to do with them. I just buy plans and buy stuff that I don't even need or want just to kind of make room for caps to do daily weekly challenges where we have to collect caps. <laughs> okay. Uh, but we're going to look at a couple here in this video and uh, the first thing we're going to take a look at here is a couple of spots I like to kind of check. Um, right here in uh, Morgantown Airport, I talk about this all the time during my daily weekly challenge video where we have to collect caps. So you go to Morgantown Airport and there's a huge uh, strip there full of Scorched. Now Scorched will have weapons, sometimes weapons and armor on them. And if you're lucky enough, you'll be able to spawn in the event by yourself called Collision Course. It happens right around here. And there'll be all kinds of scorts that show up in the same deal. You can just collect all the armor and the weapons. And then you don't have to uh, worry yourself about wasting a carry weight booster or fast traveling. You just walk over here to the train station. It's just right there. And sell all that stuff off to that vendor bot that's there. And the exact same thing method that I use right down here. I talk about all the time. Right down here in Welsh. Exact same deal. Just because the Welsh is so close to Welsh Station and uh, there's so many ball miners that have shotguns, missile launchers, and etc. Basically you just walk up, sell all that stuff with that vendor bot, and you know you have all kinds of caps next thing you know. And you can just keep doing that until you know you max out the uh, caps for that 24 hour period and then just start again the next day basically. And after you're doing that, you know, after a week or so, you'll end up with all kinds of caps at your disposal. So the first thing we're going to check out here today, we're going to check out Morgantown Airport. So let's go through the paces of what I do. I don't really go out looking for caps nowadays like I used to, because, uh, you know, we've all been there as uh, new players and uh, struggling <laughs> to find caps. And no one is buying anything from our vending machines, so... This is just uh, a quick alternative method. All right, so right here, Morgantown uh, sta stations right there with that vendor bot, okay? And all through Morgantown Airport and even inside the terminal, all kinds of scorched. But we're just going to do the outside and you're you're going to get to the you're going to get the point what I'm trying to make. We're just going to go after these scorched here. And hopefully these scorched will have uh, weapons on them. Most of them do. You just pick up the weapons. That's all you do. Don't worry about if you get over your weight. You know, most times you're over your weight anyway. Even uh, if you have uh, backpacks and such. But uh, you just pick up all the weapons. If you see any armor around, pick that up as well. Because we're going to be selling all this stuff to that vendor bot, basically. And uh, we're going to see after this uh, what we're going to get. Uh, same thing with stim packs and chems. Like... I know myself, the main chems that I use, usually there's a weapon right here. Uh, the main uh, is like stim packs and, and rat away myself. I just usually do daily weekly challenges, but um, a lot of people, you know, play a lot more than, than I play. So, you know, they might use, you know, different chems that helps them in their gameplay. But for what I do, you know, it's fine for what I use the stim packs and rat away. It does the job. Just gonna keep going around here and getting some scorched.
as you can see, pretty much every scorched. But I will tell you, not all of them will have weapons on them, but uh, the vast majority of them will. Just pick them up. Even that hatchet, sell that. Depends on the condition that the weapons are in and the armor is in, you might get a little bit more for it. This is pretty much the scorch in that area. Now we're going to go to the quarantine section and see if we can spawn in collision course. Yep, perfect. So we spawned this event in ourselves. And we've done that many a times. There's many, many events that you can spawn in by yourself on private servers or even public ones. Now we're going to go through these five waves of Scorched and get this done. Headshot, headshot, headshot. Times four. <laughs> uh, now if you're doing Collision Course, if you're brand new to the game, I don't even bother with that Scorched piece because it, it usually just flies off in the distance anyway. It's passive and... Uh, it may attack you, you know, if you attack it first, but if you don't bother with it, it won't bother you for some reason. Alright. You see him over there? <laughs> yeah, see, like, he's he is passive. And he's eventually just going to fly off in the distance, and... I've tried to go after him one day, but he just... he's, he's just gone. <laughs> Alright. Get him from over here. Yeah, look at that. Now, if you're here on a public server with other players, you do get more scorch that will show up, so that's even better. And if you can get if you can get at least one shot on your enemies, you'll you know get the benefits of uh, you know ammo and whatever stuff they have on them. like that yeah yeah this is the two shot lever action that i'm using doesn't have the explode effect on it but it's a very good weapon does the job very well messed up Hey, there we go. Nice. responders. Cargo bot is now on final approach. Excuse me, I lost my voice there. Wow. <laughs> All you do is just walk up and then you go nearby corpses. Now sometimes you can't do that for whatever reason. So then you just go to each body, but it's a lot better now cuz the enemies glow. Believe it or not, those of you who who are fairly new to the game, never played the game before, there was uh, a time where uh, you had to go try to find the body. The bodies didn't glow like they do now. So that was probably one of the best things they ever did to the game. Okay, so here we go. We're going to pick up our weapons here. These guys have dropped. Look at that canned dog food. Hot dog. Combat knives. We'll sell all this stuff. Combat shotguns. Those go for a good price. Again, don't worry about uh, getting overweight because we're just going to walk over to that um, train station. Grab these grenade launchers there. As you can see, all kinds, all kinds of uh, weapons here. And uh, even even the uh, the cams that you might not even use, pick them up while you're at it, right? All right, that's this side. This of course, event complete. Let's go this way, and we'll go on this side. Get stuff. Got that. Another dog food. Beautiful. Death Tambo. Look at that. There's a uh, robot right leg. Handmade. Nice. As you can see, all kinds of weapons we just picked up. All kinds of her. And uh, there's even some weapons in this uh, government aid drop here. Pick that red axe. We'll sell that. See there? Look at that pre-war money 101. Love it, baby. Love it. Okay, so let's go ahead here. We're going to head back. And again, don't worry about because you're overweight. You know, you can't fast travel when you're overweight anyway. Um, you can run, not really run, but uh, go a little bit faster. It depends on what mutations you have, I guess. But 
Uh, we're going to make our way down this little set of stairs. There's going to be another five or six scorch down here. And then we'll pop over to that train station. Going to go all creepy creepy here. Sounds like we're being trolled. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I bet it does. Looks like it hurts. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, quite the predicament you're in there, buds. <laughs> All right, and this is a good spot for uh, a lot of chems as well. Usually there's a lot of chems there. I was just here the other day and I picked up some stuff. That's why it's not here. You need to reset the game by picking up 250 or 255 items. Just in case you guys are wondering. Another step back there. Beautiful. And again, there's all kinds of scorched all through the Morgantown terminal inside. Again, you can do all that. Pick up all those uh, weapons that are in there. We're not going to bother doing that. You guys will get the point here in a second. Okay, perfect. So we got what we need there. Good stuff. So that's quite a bit of stuff. Alright, let's go to the train station. Now, I'm not going to use... I'm going to go over the perk card. Uh, there are perk cards that you can get. Okay? And, um... It's under Charisma. There's a perk card here called Hard Bargain. Buying selling prices at non-player vendors and are now much better. So I usually equip this bad boy and uh, under charisma and selling these items to this robot will give me more caps. Okay, so that's something you can look out for if you're a new player. I'm not too sure when this first starts showing up in your perk card packs, but definitely, even if it's a one star, <laughs> don't, uh, don't uh, script it or anything like that. Just uh, hang on to it, and when you sell this stuff, it's only going to help you, okay? Um, another thing to make note of is, uh, this is more so when you're doing daily weekly challenges, when it says collect caps. So you see how I have caps here, 37,880. I was maxed out before starting this video, so I had to buy something uh, just to kind of make room. So and that's what you have to do when you're doing daily weekly challenges. You have to make room for caps in order to sell stuff to get caps to get credit for the daily weekly challenge, okay? You have to make room in your little purse here because 40,000 is our max, all right? Um, so I'm not going to bother using that perk card here right off the hop, uh, but there is something else under aid here. It is called, uh, where are we at here? Okay, I don't have it here with me. So grape mintats. Grape mintats will also work. Let's, I think I might have some in my... Stash box here. I thought I did anyway. May have uh, got rid of them, but uh, yeah. Uh, the great mentats will give you plus five charisma, and it will also help. It will also stack with uh, that hard bargain perk. Okay, great mentats. All right, so let's go ahead here. We're going to trade some stuff. Just go to your weapons section, so you can see all the weapons that we picked up here. Okay. So here's a 10 millimeter pistol. Again, it d it does vary uh, based on the condition. So let's try this one here. So this one's maybe about 80%. Six caps for this guy. Uh, this one here is maybe a little bit above 50. Five caps for that guy. Okay, so you see the difference. Okay. And um, let's uh, let's go ahead. Let's equip that hard bargain perk card just to kind of show you guys the difference. Hey, hard bargain perk card. Let's try that now. Ammunition. Sell it. So there we go. Eight caps. So one extra. Available here. And this guy here, seven caps. So a couple extra. So you do get a little bit more using the hard bargain perk card. So we're gonna go ahead and sell this stuff. 
As you can see, our shotguns, 29 caps. You're not going to get much Welcome, for the um, I am authorized to melee weapons or grenade launchers. you think they'd be a little bit more, but they're not. Usually the combat shotgun, sh combat rifles, they give you a pretty good price. Stock up Go down here to the weapons section so I don't get mixed up there. Available. Right, we got some short assault rifles. You see that 23 caps. Look at that, 31 caps for the combat rifles. The combat rifles definitely where it's at. Even the handmade 22 caps. And that's again, that's with the hard bargain perk card. So the hard bargain perk card does give you a little bit more, as we've shown you. Just to give a couple of examples. Okay. There we go. So you see, we earned quite a few caps there, right? Uh, now, the main thing you got to remember is the vendor bots. You see how on the right-hand side under weapons, you go all the way down to the bottom. So now the vendor bots have 984 caps left. And all the vendor bots' cap inventory are the same. So if I go here, I go to another train station, I go to all the train stations on the map, they are all their purse is uh, tied into each other. Okay, so keep that in mind. Once in a while, we will have these little events over the weekend called clap, uh, Caps Aplenty, and these vendor bots will have more caps available. Okay, so you gotta you can keep out an eye for that. Okay, so that was uh, Morgantown Airport, and that's without even going inside the terminal. So we did fairly uh, decent there. You know, fairly decent. All right, so let's go down and do the same thing. We'll go down here to Welsh. And we'll show you that down here with all the mall miners. So that's not too bad. I would say, I would call it maybe 14 minutes worth of uh, gameplay with those. You know, it depends on how fast you play and such. But I'm also doing a lot of yapping at the same time. So, <laughs> so here at Welsh again, here's our train station right here. Okay. Here's all of our mall miners down here. Again, you don't have to... Waste. Listen, Dylan. If you know what's good for you, you're gonna just keep smoking that cigarette there, okay? Hey, listen, don't be pushy. Don't be pushy. Try to make a video here. <laughs> I don't know who he thinks he is. <laughs> Let's go after these mole miners here. Now, this is a little bit higher level area. Uh, mole miners are a little beefier than Scorch, so keep that in mind when you're a newer player. But I remember coming down here when I was, like, level 25. Alright, so again, these guys will have a lot of stuff on them. Okay, I usually just, again, go for the missile launchers, the gauntlets, okay? Combat shotgun. Now, sometimes up on this first little area, there'll be a couple weapons up here just laying here. So you can go ahead and pick them up, just, just free weapons, okay? Piece of the action. Get him in the face there. Guy over here wants a piece of action too, do you, bud? Alright, so again, you know, we are a little overweight, but uh, that's fine. I don't know why I picked up those stuff there. There we go. I know. Assault rifle. Assault rifles, combat shotguns, combat rifles, they give the best. Missile launchers depends on the condition of them. More so than the others. Usually there's a free weapon right here. Oh, 
such a great weapon at rank 52 just from doing XP. <laughs> Usually there's a couple weapons in here that are free. I don't know how I missed that guy. Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from, little fella? Miner suit scrap, great, great source of uh, black titanium there. Pumpkin pie, in case anyone's looking for a pumpkin pie, that's uh that's a spawn point. Oh yeah, yeah. Always down for a good whiskey. And a wine. <laughs> Alright. There's an enemy right here. I don't know where he's at. He's just a couple of uh, weapons that are right here on the bed that are for free as well. Always check this uh, wreckage. All kinds of great stuff in there. Usually there's a uh, free weapon right here in this bathtub. Here. Usually a free weapon here. Look at that. Uh, grab that. Usually there's a free weapon in around here. Not today, though. Usually there's like a. Co oh, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> Same color as the floor. Kind of blending in there. Another combat shotgun. Yes, sir. Let's uh, switch these perk cards here. <laughs> I was wondering why uh weapon was uh, li lagging a little bit there. Here we go. Get a little bit of a bonus here. Oh, how you doing? Another assault rifle, look at that. And a gauntlet. There's going to be two more mole miners up here. It's kind of hit and miss because this uh, territory up here is like a random event where enemies will be fighting other enemies, okay? So sometimes when you come up here, these guys are dead. As you see, he's... Sometimes there's other enemies up there. Sometimes uh, you'll see a sheep squatch coming down there or a, a blue devil. <laughs> Combat shotgun, beautiful. Bunch of robots up there. We're not gonna bother with them. Let's see, we wanna start a fight, I guess. Oh, this is, uh, see how the super mutants are coming down the hill? And that's what happens with this random encounter site. An enemy will come down the hill. And these guys will just start going at each other. But it's different every time you come here. Totally random, as I say. Uh, so we did pretty good there. That's Welsh. We're going to make our way over here to the uh, Welsh station. And sell the stuff off to the vendor bot that's here. Same thing that we did in Morgantown. Exact same thing. And I just like these two places because they're just so close proximity. You don't have to worry about fast traveling and such, okay? Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to switch that perk card back here. Put that hard bargain perk card back on. And if you have great mentats, by all means, it'll be now under A. Let's go ahead and trade. Down here, the weapons section. Let's mission. go ahead and sell the stuff here. off. Look at that, 29 caps for these. Again, it depends. Uh, it does vary based on the condition of the weapon and the armor that you're selling. So keep that in mind. Missile launcher. 
Uh, you're not going to get a whole lot for these gauntlets. Now, uh, you know, not too, too bad today, I guess, but it kind of varies. But all kinds of gauntlets down there. And as you can see, you see how the, uh, on the right-hand side, the robot's purse there. Now it's down to 628, so you can see how all the robots in the game, all the train station robots, their purse is tied gears, into each other. Citizen. So that's your limit, basically. Even if you were to close out your game, you start it up again. I think it's for 24 hours worth. Keep an eye out for Caps of Plenty when that pops up every... Uh, on the odd weekend, usually it'll, they'll let you know. Bethesda.net will let you know when that time is at. So now we're down to 511 caps for our vendors. And, uh, you know, we, we're at uh, 38,732 caps now from selling those weapons. So you see, those are those two, I would say, are my favorite uh, ways to get caps here in the game. Okay. Um, another way to, you can earn caps is by completing events okay events will also give you caps uh what also helps is when you're doing events and let's say you're on a public server you can go ahead and you can join a team and usually if there's a member on the team that does events or does quests you, uh every person that's on that team will get a certain uh, amount of those caps as well. I don't know if it's the same amount of caps as the person that did it, but I do know it's like a certain percentage at the very least um, people on that team will benefit. So if you see, if you're on a, pub, a public server and you see any events, you see a room in there, you know, join it as long as you do some events with, uh, you know, you don't have to be with your teammates. You can go on your own solo. And whatever caps you earn, they'll earn. And whatever caps they earn, you earn. Okay, so that's another great way of uh, looking at it. So let's go ahead here. We're going to take a look at an event. Now, you would have saw the caps that we got off of completing Collision Course. But uh, let's uh, see how we're down here. Let's see if we can spawn in um, BattleBot down here at Mount Blair Train Yard. It's another event we can spawn in ourselves, by ourselves. Let's see if we can spawn this one in here. All right, perfect. Warning, warning. Unauthorized presence detected near Mount Blair Train Yard. Now, anytime you see these bad boys, fusion cores are the way to go. Now, this guy here, he's just a uh, security bot, so he's not all that powerful. He's pretty easy. Now make sure you get those access cards off the uh, Mr. Gutsies here. I didn't mean to pick that up, whatever. Let's switch our cards back here, Jim. See, I always have a... <laughs> I always forget. Those of you who watch my videos know it's like a struggle. The struggle is real for me. Not putting my card per cards back. <laughs> Uh, just don't forget those key cards, okay? So uh, another part of this event is now that you get those key cards. This event is very easy. Uh, typically, this is kind of a glitch, but these doors are supposed to be closed. And when you access those keypads using those key cards, that's when the doors swing open so we can hit that red button. But it doesn't let us um, hit that red button yet anyway, even though these doors are open. You still got to go through the paces of these key cards. Now, this is time sensitive, but... I just kind of hit this. I don't run. I just walk. Very important. And I go over here and I just spam that button. And uh, it might take a couple times for you to get that down. Yeah, but just just walk. Don't run. Then you come over here and hit. And you'll see what the caps that we get for popping up there. So we got 30 caps for doing that. Now, if we were on a team, our team members will get... I don't know if they get the full 30 caps or they get a certain percentage. But they do get caps uh, for those of you that are on... Uh, your team and look at that we get some caps from inside this cabinet so that's another great way inside cabinets around the wasteland um, just whenever, whenever you go exploring just open stuff up you know grab some stuff look at that chainsaw flamer nice that's uh, interesting good stuff bunch of goodies in here too if you're ever looking to do a good easy event easy caps <laughs> yeah just like that very easy even if you're a new player Fusion core for this guy. Okay. Alright, it's lock and load, Jim. 
All right, so again, uh, events, another good way to get caps. Uh, it depends on the event. I know, um, what's it called there? The Metal Dome. can't remember the name of it there. But uh, there's an event that happens at the Metal Dome. I can find it here. Yeah, Metal Dome. There's an event that happens here, and you get a lot of caps. <laughs> a lot of caps. I would say probably one of the most, most amount of caps you get for completing an event is at the Metal Dome here. And, um, yeah. <laughs> if you ever see that on a uh, public server, join it with other people, and uh, you'll fill your boots with caps in no time. Yeah, that's a very good one. Um, another way to earn caps is by completing daily quests, okay? Uh, so again, I have a couple of videos showing you uh, how to complete daily quests and how to activate them. We're going to do this real simple one that's up here at Prickett's Fort. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to fast travel up here. Just trying to give you guys some options and a few examples instead of me just, you know, telling you. All right, so now we're here at Prickett's Fort. We're going to activate this guy right here. Gonna start this daily quest. Now this daily quest is very easy to do. And you'll see what we get for caps, just for an example. Now you don't have to sit here and talk to that guy. You can just kind of keep going. You just need to activate him. Just walk up here. Maybe a little rad roach with his bum sticking out of the wall there. All right, so that's going to get these. Uh, Let's grab that stem pack. All right, we grab the uh, remains. We're going to go down here, the battlefield, uh, Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. We're going to fast travel down here. Now, this particular quest, once when you're here, there's going to be a couple mongrels around, but they're fairly easy. All right. There's going to be some mongrels inside that building, we're not, but we're not going to go bother inside that building here today. Uh, basically, we're going to put the remains in there. Okay, usually there's a shovel right here, or if there's a shovel's not there, usually there's a shovel in this grave. Okay, But most people that do this particular event will just drop the shovel anyway. So as you take the shovel, you go to your weapons section, you go into equip it. Now we're going to fill this grave. Now you see what happens here. See, we got 40 caps. We got 40 caps for doing that simple... <laughs> Simple, simple daily quest. Okay, let's go ahead and drop this shovel here. Yeah, that was just a very simple quest, like nothing to it. And uh, again, I have a video, probably about an hour and ten minutes of me going around the wasteland and completing a little daily quest like this. And uh, again, another good way to earn caps. Okay, what's next here? I I'm, looks like I'm a little overweight. I wonder what I'm why I'm overweight here. Let's, um... Oh, I do got a lot of stuff. Let's drop some of this stuff. Alright, let's get a carry weight booster on us here. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Losing my voice again. Alright, so, again, uh, so we went around. We went to Morgantown. Airport. We went to Welsh. We did an event. Did a couple of events, I should say. Uh, we did a daily quest, just to give you an example. Okay. Um, another thing way you can earn uh, caps is by killing enemies. Okay. Uh, not all enemies will have caps on them. Uh, I find human enemies will have caps. I find, uh, especially when you go to Atlantic City, a lot of the human enemies will have caps on them. So that's a good way. Another uh, enemy that has, I find a decent amount of caps is the Grafton Monsters and Rad Toads. So that's what we're, we're going to check out here in this video just to kind of give you some examples, okay? Uh, so some Grafton Monsters, actually while we're up here, uh, we'll just pop over here to um, Hemlock Holes. And there's a Grafton Monster that's uh, guaranteed up here. We'll take a look at him. All right, so let's go keep going here. Here's our Grafton monster. Go 
go for the ball holes here. All right, so you see caps. I've seen up to about 22, 25 caps sometimes off these guys. Okay, and they will also have some armor and weapons on them most of the time. Okay, and he's a guaranteed spawn. Another couple of great spawns for some grafted monsters is uh, right down here. We'll check down there in a second. Uh, but we're going to go up here to Grafton where there's some rad toads. And uh, we'll show you that. Fine rad toads will have like two, three, or four caps on them. All right, right down here, there'll be some rad toads. Oh, he doesn't have to. Again, it really depends on the server that you're on. You might have luck some servers, and sometimes you won't, okay? There's gonna be some rat toads on the other side, but we'll stay on this side of, uh... Grafton. There's more rat toads to be had. Most times, but again, it depends. It depends on the server. I could show you all day, and have you know really good luck on a really good server and then you guys do it is like yo zero luck <laughs> is the way to so there we go four caps off that guy Cap, look at that. Look at that power we can that nice Some copper in that. Let's make sure you don't go in that water there, it's gross. Okay, unless you're updated with your tetanus shot. <laughs> Look at that, four caps. So as you see, red toads, real good source of caps. Uh, let's go after some more grafted monsters. Uh, there'll be one right down here. Let's uh, go to the Charleston train yard. <laughs> Five caps. Look at that. <laughs> All right, now there'll be a Grafton monster just down on the other side here. Are you going to come in the other way by the train station if you wish, whatever you want to do? Right down here, this is also a guaranteed spot for a Grafton monster. He's up here. Oh, he's right here. Blow holes. <laughs> Get that 18 caps from that cat. Nice. Alright, another Grafton monster. He's right up here by the Charleston Capitol building. Let's pop up here. Right up here at the Charleston Capitol building. Right here. You actually spawn right here. Uh, but if you look over the edge here, there'll be a guy right down here. And he, sometimes if he's not here, just get a little closer. And uh, he will actually come right out of that disgusting black water. Okay. He'll just kind of pop up out of the water. If you don't see it, so just get a little closer. Sometimes I get on that little, that haul, that boat, and he'll just pop up, like, right out of the water. Look at that 24 caps out of that cat. 
Right, so those are good sources of caps, you know. Uh, Grafton Monsters, really good, really good source. Uh, rat Toads, and most human enemies, especially, especially if you do an expedition in Atlantic City. A lot of those cats, those enemies will have some sort of caps on them as well. There must be a uh, cultist high priest over there because those guys are glowing. All right. So those are some good enemy types, okay? Um, let's go ahead here. Another good way to earn caps is from uh, cap stashes. So you find cap stashes around the wasteland. I've tried to make a video on this on several occasions this past year, and every single one of them failed because it all depends on the server that you're on, and it depends on <laughs> how much patience you have because you're just uh, to make a video on it to show every cap stash. It's like it's very, very, very hard to do, very time consuming because it depends on the server. There might be some cap stashes you'll never see for a while, then they just pop up. All right, but I'm going to take you to a spot that I know that there'll be that there should be some cap stashes or what they'll be uh, where you'll find them. Okay, uh, but again, it it's totally depends on you know the server. We're going to go up here to the Tyler County Fairgrounds, so let's pop up here. I think there are uh, a couple older, like much older videos of uh, some other YouTubers trying to find <laughs> the cap stashes, and it's a struggle. It's a huge struggle. It's like you have to take out a month or a couple months and uh, chop up, cut up videos, <laughs> endless videos in order to get it down. But uh, I think there's another high priest around here too. We're just here for the cap stash. So this guy is going to be right through here. Now again, depends. Depends on the server that you're on. You could come here and might not be here, but if you come here, sometimes this is where it'll be. And it's, yeah, right, there's one right there. Just cap stash right there. Perfect. So that's where that guy will be at. Um, now there are a couple perk cards that you can use that'll give you more caps for the cap stash is here. I'm just trying to... Oh, there's the cat over there. Look at him. Shoot him in the face here. Let's get up on here. Get with our old buddy here. What's his name? Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at those perk cards here. All right. Um, jeez. It's been a little while... There you go, cap collector. You find 33% more bottle caps in cap stashes. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to take Tormentor off. Let's put cap collector on. We can get it from here. <laughs> Did. Now yeah, this one looks awesome. All right, let's check that cap stash now. Ten. Hmm. Odd. Anyways. <laughs> oh, I think if, I think what happened is because how I looked at it first. Like if I didn't look at it, and then I had that card equipped, there'd be more. But because I already looked at, it, I think that's how it goes. I think that's how it goes. Correct me if I'm wrong. If there's someone that's uh, experienced that can kind of chime in, I'm pretty sure. If I could, yeah, that's I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So I looked at that. To see how many was in there but if i didn't do that uh, it would there would be more caps in there using that perk card cap collector okay good stuff all right so let's um let's go somewhere else and uh see if we can find another cap stash oh you got caps on look at that nice thanks bud All right, where are we gonna go here, Jim? Let's go, cap stash. Uh, we'll go to Nuka World on tour. Pretty fast travel. And again, I'm not. <laughs> it's gonna be virtually impossible to sh for me to show you every cap stash spot in this one video. Um, but. Uh, I think there are older videos of other YouTubers out there that <laughs> taking the time, but 
just show you a couple of good spots just to kind of if you're new to the game you can you see what the, what they kind of watch out for uh, I think it's this guy here the quantum one usually it's inside there let's check this guy yeah okay yeah, yeah, I think it's this guy usually so usually there's a cap stash on that shelf okay if you do come here okay all right uh, we'll check one more spot check the uh, kill box here all right now there's gonna be some blood eagles here so we're going to uh, take our time to go through here but it's on the second floor Still hear the what? Screams. Let's see if we can get up here. Nope. All right, so we're on the second floor. Uh, you can walk, go through the building if you so wish, whatever you want to do. Okay. And usually, yeah, it's not here today. Usually, there's a cap stash like right, right here. There's usually, there's a cap stash right there. Okay, so keep that in mind. Ah, uh, look at that. We do get a uh, new controller cranberry. Beautiful. Ah, uh, so again, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard making a video looking for cap stashes. But, uh, essentially, you guys know now what they kind of look like if you're, like, brand new to the game. Okay? And, uh, what per card, uh, to use, uh, to kind of keep an eye out for if you don't have one. Okay? Cap collector. Ah, uh, but yeah, there's all kinds of, uh, stuff all kinds of cap stashes around. All right, let's head back to our camp here. I never get to have any fun. How long am I still alive? I miss my mama. <laughs> get a kick out of these guys. And, of course, last but not least, we'll talk about, uh, you know, earning caps through your vetting machines, okay? Um, I know myself, I find lately, I would say the last five or six months, I haven't been selling a whole lot in my vending machines. Uh, a lot of times, uh, they're fairly close to being, you know, being 120 to 120. And uh, I try lowering the price of some of them and playing, playing a little bit more on uh, public servers and such, but, like, just... When you look on maps, I find lately, like the last six months, like people are, are on the map, but they're at their camps and they're not doing anything. Like they're just AFK unless there's like a popular event like uh, the Mothman Equinox going on. That's going on right now during this video. Uh, but then you'll see them all participate. Then they all, then they all go back to their camp. So I haven't been selling a whole lot of stuff uh, in front of my vending machines. And even though I've decreased the price of a lot of stuff, like, you know, a huge discount. But, uh, but yeah, just, uh, that, I would say this is my least, <laughs> my least favorite way of earning caps is just because, uh, I don't really get a whole lot of traffic like we used to for some reason. I don't know what it is, but, but yeah, but yeah, they, as I said, there's many different ways you can earn caps in the game. And, uh, if someone is, uh, watching the video and experienced person, if you guys have any tips or tricks as well, you know, put them in the comments, but, uh, those are my uh, my favorite way. So the first one, we went to Morgantown Airport. Where we got a bunch of weapons and armor. Then we went down to Welsh, weapons and arm armor. And then we just sell it to the respective train stations. You know, hard bargain perk card will help you out. Great Mentats will help you out. Uh, completing events, um, either by yourself, will give you caps. Even more so, you'll even earn more caps if you're playing on a team with other players. And that way there, if your teammates do an event or a quest, you'll get a certain percentage of those caps as well. Um, you know, killing enemies. Enemies such as uh, human enemies like in Atlantic City. Uh, the Grafton Monster gives you quite a bit of caps. Rad Toes will give you caps as well. Um, cap stashes, again, they're a little more harder to come by. Uh, not very consistent. Uh, and then selling... Uh, things in your own vending machine 
again, I, I would say that would be my least favorite. But um, just want to kind of make this video just because someone had asked a question a couple of days ago and I was working. So I just wanted to try to try to do it a good way and give you guys some good examples and good explanations. And of course, this will be all time stamped uh, copies out as well. So so there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starwin138, Rob Coe. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.